Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got during our half trading day of July 22, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stocks timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 1.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $266.99, but we expect a possible sell price of $271.45. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Dow Jones Industrial ETF if it is over 0.20% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Dow Jones Industrial ETF has a striking price at $275. For this option, the actual put price is at $7.45, but we expect a possible put price at $5.57. NASDAQ 100 ETF was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that NASDAQ 100 ETF is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $266.4, but we expect a possible sell price of $269.72. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $259.44, unless is undervalued. On the call option table, NASDAQ 100 ETF has a striking price at $255. For this option, the actual call price is at $11.7, but we expect a possible call price at 8 point. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a weak opportunity to buy utility sector ETF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $59.73. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.25. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. ALG Resources is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $48.93, but we expect a possible sell price of $50.79. In addition, we suggest to stop selling AOG Resources, if it is over 3.70% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, AOG Resources has a striking price at $51. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.08, but we expect a possible put price at $1.61. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, 
Our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Wells Fargo. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $25.68. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.89. BlackRock was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that BlackRock is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 3.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.5%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $573.99, but we expect a possible buy price of $568.35. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $599.37, unless is overvalued. On the put option table, BlackRock has a striking price at $600. For this option, the actual put price is at $18.7, but we expect a possible put price at $12.19. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today. Our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Prologis. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $95.99. For put option, a possible put price is at $4.73. Crown Castle was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Crown Castle is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 4.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $169.84, but we expect a possible sell price of $173.93. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $164.82, unless is undervalued. On the call option table, Crown Castle has a striking price at $160. For this option, the actual call price is at $11.25 but we expect a possible call price at $7.99. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy United Health Group. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $306.21. For call option, a possible call price is at $7.94. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Pfizer Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $36.4. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.51. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Lockheed Martin. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $379.83. For put option, 
a possible put price is at $6.81. Lockheed Martin is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 2.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $379.83, but we expect a possible sell price of $384.72. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Lockheed Martin, if it is over 2.55% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Lockheed Martin has a striking price at $385. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.7 but we expect a possible put price at $6.81. Material Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell air products chemicals. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $281.56. For put option, a possible put price is at $10.34. Discretionary Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell McDonald's. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $196.14. For put option, a possible put price is at $5.21. Tesla Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Tesla Incorporated is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $1,632.19, but we expect a possible sell price of $1,651.92. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $1,595.17, unless is undervalued. On the call option table. Tesla Incorporated has a striking price at $1,550. For this option, the actual call price is at $151.68. Consumer Staples ETF is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $61.39, but we expect a possible buy price of $60.94. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Consumer Staples ETF, if it is below 0.75% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Consumer Staples ETF has a striking price at $60. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.86 but we expect a possible call price at $1.36. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Colgate Palmolive. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $73.98. For call option. A possible call price is at $1.65. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Colgate Palmolive was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. 
you can observe that Colgate Palmolive is a bare high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $74.25. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $72.73, unless is undervalued. On the call option table, Colgate Palmolive has a striking price at $72. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.28, but we expect a possible call price at $1.65. Procter & Gamble was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Procter & Gamble is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $125.68 but we expect a possible sell price of $126.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $122.83, unless is undervalued. On the call option table, Procter & Gamble has a striking price at $123. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.18, but we expect a possible call price at 2 dollars Walmart Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Walmart Corporation is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $131, but we expect a possible buy price of $129.78. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $136.6, unless is overvalued. On the put option table, Walmart Corporation has a striking price at $135. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.23, but we expect a possible put price at $2.6. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Communication sector ETF is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 3.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $57.99, but we expect a possible buy price of $56.75. In addition, we suggest to stop buying communication sector ETF, if it is below 1.25% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, communication sector ETF has a striking price at $56. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.98, but we expect a possible call price at $2.4. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $81.93. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.72. On the other hand, 
there is a strong opportunity to sell Nextera Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $267.74. For put option, a possible put price is at $12.86. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good update of our half trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.